Hi, boys and girls. Hop up and down 10 times like a frog and get ready for today's message. Ready, go. Welcome, travel buddies. This is your travel guide speaking. Today, we are going on an adventure where we will first worship Jesus through singing songs together. Second, we will pack for an exciting trip to hear what God wants to tell us through the Bible. Third, we will collect a cool souvenir that we can use to remind us of what we learned today. Lastly, you and your parent will keep the adventure going through the online parent guide. If you are ready, go ahead and stand up for our first stop, worship. Can you all help me count down? Three, two, one.
everyone. I'm so glad you're here today. My name is Jet. Everybody calls me Jet because I'm always on the go, flying around, jetting around the world and traveling to new and exciting places. I was just packing my suitcase and getting ready to head on another adventure. Would you like to go on an adventure with me? Great! Well, let's make sure we have everything before we go. The first thing I always pack is my favorite stuffed animal. I can't leave it behind. Can you pretend to hug your favorite stuffed animal? Good job. Now, I'm just going to make sure that it's all tucked in here just right for our trip. Now I've got my clothes and my toothbrush and my stuffed animal. And I even have room for souvenirs to bring back home. One of my favorite things to do when I travel is to take pictures. Do you like to take pictures? Oh good! We'll be taking a lot of pictures on our trip today. Whenever we see a camera pop up on the screen, we should take a picture. Everybody hold up your pretend cameras and say, click. You got it, travel buddies. I think we're ready to go. Today we're headed to a beautiful land called Brazil. I have always wanted to see a rainforest and today we'll get to see one. I can't wait. Now I wonder how we'll travel when we're in Brazil. My ticket has a picture on it. Travel buddies, do you know what this is a picture of? That's right, it's a boat. That must mean we're going to ride a boat through the Amazon rainforest. Now do you know what we call a person who drives a boat? Is it a pilot or a captain? The person who drives a boat is called a captain. Can you help me find the captain so we can get going? Let's all wave and say, Oh, captain! Oh, captain! All aboard! Look! The camera! Let's take a quick picture of the captain. One, two, three, click! Hello, Jet! It looks like you and your travel buddies are ready to set sail on an adventure. We're all set to go. Today we're going to travel to a beautiful place God made. It's the Amazon rainforest. There will be all kinds of plants and animals you may have never seen before. So be sure to have your cameras ready to take pictures. There's also a special souvenir to remind you of how much it rains there. Let me know when you find it. Now, what are we waiting for? Let's set sail and get on the go. We made it. Thanks, Captain. Traveling to a rainforest is so much fun. Wow, the Captain was right. This place is beautiful. Look, there's the camera. Travel buddies, let's take a picture of all we see. One, two, three. Click. Wow, I've never traveled to a place like this with so many colorful flowers. Can you pretend to smell these amazing flowers that God made? Ah, oh, they smell so good. And look at these beautiful plants. Wow, this leaf is so big and beautiful. Travel buddies, do you know who made all these things? That's right. There are a lot of things God made that we can see. But what can we hear? If you hear birds, raise your hand. And if you think you hear frogs, wiggle your fingers. Okay, but there's something else I hear. I hear rain. Well, I shouldn't be surprised because we are in the rainforest. We should look around to see if there's a special souvenir that sounds like rain falling from the sky. Hmm, 
Does a rock make sound like rain? No way. But what about this stick? It looks like it fell from a tree. Maybe it fell because of the rain. Whoa, did you hear that? This stick actually sounds like the rain falling. This must be our special souvenir. Let's call the captain and show him what we found. On the count of three, let's all shout, Oh, Captain! One, two, three. Oh, Captain! Hello, travel buddies. I see you found the rain stick. It's a special souvenir you can take with you to remind you of all of the rain that falls and makes the rainforest so beautiful. You know, God has different names that remind us of who he is. One of the names for God is Lord. That's because God is in charge of everything we see, including rain. We know this because in the beginning of time, there was nothing. Everything was dark. Travel buddies, can you close your eyes really tight? The only thing you see is darkness when your eyes are closed. That's how it was before God made the world. Okay, you can all open your eyes again. Because God is powerful, he made everything we see just by speaking. On the first day, he said, let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good. And so he made day and he made night. On day two, God made the sky and he made the water. On day three, God made plants and trees grow up out of the earth because he knew that we would need them. On the fourth day, God made two great lights for the sky. Travel buddies, what is the name of the bright light we see in the daytime? The sky! Yes, and what is the big light that's in the sky at nighttime? The moon! You got it! On day five, God made animals that fly in the sky and swim in the sea. The next day, day six, God made the animals that live on land and all the other animals here in the rainforest. But day six was a special day because that's when God made people. He loves us more than anything else he made and he is in charge of our lives. Oh, let's take a picture to remember how much God loves us and that he is in charge. One, two, three, click. Good job, travel buddies! God loved everything he made. Then, on day seven, God rested. God has always been and will always be in charge of the world and the people he made. That's why we call him Lord. Now let me hear you say this after me. God is... God is... My Lord! My Lord! That's it! You can remember God as your Lord every time you play with your special rain stick souvenir from the Amazon. Thank you, Captain. Wow, God has been and will always be in charge of everything. Did you know that we can learn about who God is by reading from the Bible? Hey, let's read from the Bible right now. Can you all hold your pretend Bibles like this while I read from the Bible? In Psalm 9:10, it says, Those who know your name trust in you. Go ahead and close your pretend Bibles now. Just like the captain said earlier, one of the names of God is Lord because he is in charge. When we hear rain or see a rain stick, we can trust that God is our Lord and in charge of everything. Let me hear you say this after me. God is my Lord. You've got it. This rainforest adventure has been so much fun and we have taken some really amazing pictures. Let's look at what we have so far. Oh, look. Remember when we took a picture of the beautiful rainforest? Me too. Who made all the flowers and the trees that we've seen here? 
You know it. God, let's look at our next picture. Ooh, this is a picture from the Bible story that we heard today. Who's in charge of the world and everything in it? Yes, again, God. God made everything, and he's in charge of it all. I think we took one more picture. Let's see. Yep, we did. This is a picture of the captain. The captain taught us that since God is in charge of everything, we can call him our Lord. If you know that's what we learned today, then say this after me. God is my Lord. Before you go, let's talk to God by praying together. You can pray to God anywhere and anytime and trust that he is listening. Today we're going to pray with our eyes closed and our hands together like this. Now on the count of three, let's clap our hands together. One, two, three. Dear God, thank you for being in charge of everything in the whole world. You are our Lord. Thank you so much for sending your son Jesus and that he died for our sins, which are the things that we do, say, and think that are against you. Thank you that Jesus did not stay dead, but that he rose again so that our sins could be forgiven. We love you so much. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Travel Buddies, I hope you had so much fun on our trip to the rainforest. I can't wait to take another adventure with you next week. It's bye from me, Jet. But your adventure isn't over yet. Go ahead and stand up for more fun through singing praises to Jesus in worship. Singing songs is just another way that we can worship Jesus and say thank you for all he has done for us. We live in a great big world that needs to hear about a great big love. We need to tell the story to every little boy and girl. We gotta go, go, go. Jesus said to go, go, go. We need to tell the story of Jesus and his love. Tell the story to every little boy.